He's been running. He just, I mean, he's been hitting, rather. Montgomery gets Rathbone to chase. Strikes out two of the three batters he faced in the top of the first. 373. Jumps on the first pitch. Knuckles it to left field. Will it drop? It does. And then the two players collide, however. Able to get it in quickly enough. Messick to center field. Initially coming in, and Pena goes back out to track it down. And first time Montgomery's gotten the three balls in his first walk of the game. First base runner for UCF. We haven't seen it that much. Montez goes down to get it. It's a fair ball past the diving first baseman, Tyler Martin. Dostin goes to third, and the Knights have first and third here with two out. Got him to chase it, and Montgomery gets in a little bit of trouble here in the top half of the third, but three more. Martin sends this one the opposite way. Second time in a row that Martin has gone the other way for a single. The only two hits of the night so far for Florida State. One and one to Nelson, the catcher. Gets plunked on the elbow. He'll take first base. Gets a pitch he likes, into the gap in right center. Tyler Martin is going to be waved home. Will we get a play at the plate? We should. High throw isn't going to get the catcher. Nelson scores. Bobby Martin ends up at second. No strike first. That's a great at bat, and Serwa probably deserved a better fate, but you can only make perfect pitches for so long, and you see this fastball just ends up being middle-middle. Martin had got himself deep into that at bat, and he does not miss this. And, and to your point, Chris, this has been the Florida State offense recently. They're just not missing opportunities. Messi turns on the inside just a little nubber. High throw to Serwell, but he's able to bring it down and finish the side for the Knowles. But Robbie Mar Jordan Rathbone just tried to knuckle this one out the center field, and he's able to get a leadoff single out of it. So we'll see if UCF now can get something going. Three and one to McCabe, and just too low and you didn't want to make a mistake there at three and one to the best power hitter in this lineup so he walked Joston gets hit in the back of the thigh Ruiz going the other way that's going to get down one run will score play is cut off by the pitcher's mound as the ball just kind of rolled into Montgomery and a second run is played and we're all even Luis says, take that, Cotter. Talking about my strikeout on my last at-bat? All right, I'll send one the other way for a two RBI single. Boy, and it's how he ran the at-bat. He took the slider and then hit the fastball up. I mean, that's just really good baseball. You can see UCF committed to the other side of the field to try and compensate for the slider and its depth. Being a lefty. Montez goes to get it. Slow bouncer to second base. Nice scoop by Jackson Green to Tyler Martin to finish up the inning, but you see. Gets all of this one. Deep to right field. And gone. Well, that's his first home run of the year. So he gets on base a lot. And he shows a little bit of power here tonight. But this is impressive because you think about the first two at bats, he hammers the second one, especially he hammers the ball the other way. And so if you're server, you're thinking, man, I probably need to pitch fat, I need to get a fastball in on Martin to keep him from using the opposite field on me. And very rarely do you see a guy be able to turn on a pitch like this. So now I don't know where do you pitch Tyler Martin. That's impressive. Rathbone went back and saw it sail over his head. Nelson Serwa can't make a mistake here. Got a lot of the plate. Nelson sends it to right field. This one is deep as well. Rathbone to the wall. He'll watch this one sail over.
two jacks in a row for the Knowles. You don't expect Tyler Martin to hit home runs, but you certainly expect Nelson to do just that. Yeah, and when Florida State is rolling offensively, Chris, this is what it looks like. You've got guys that are hammering balls into right center field, taking advantage of that big fence and that short porch. And that is a textbook piece of opposite field hitting by Matt Nelson. Fastball middle away, a little bit elevated. He stays on the baseball and uses his strength. And this stadium is not holding that fly ball. Better word. But it's starting to make more sense. Jostin has a single to center field. Once again, UCF is able to get the leadoff man on board. And Pena again trying to punt. Lays down a good one down first base. He's got good speed, and he beats it out. Staring down his pitcher because Kukowski just threw a great fastball right at the knees. And that's about all I got for you. Although he loses control of that one. Just as I say that, he takes off and he makes it. <laughs> so Green strikes out. And Romano says, again, like this is the second time tonight. What are you talking about, Cotter? know that this was a great tag by Montez at second base, but boy, what a throw from Crouch. Let's see about this tag. Yeah. Kind of whiffed on that tag. And they reverse the call. That bone goes down to get it, sends it to right center. This one's deep, off the wall. That bone now on his horse. He'll slide into second base, actually stands up. The leadoff double. We have the tie-in run at the plate right now. And ripped into left field. Will Rathbone try to score? He does not. Love Lady holds him up, so... A couple of balls hit really hard from Rathbone and instructions. Now here comes inside and gets sent for a ride. Fair ball is the call, so at least one run is going to come across the score. Then McCabe delivers. And now it's second and third with nobody out. And a completely different ball game. You said it a moment ago. Florida State appears to be dominating this game, but UCF just hanging around. Yeah, they won't go away. And I'll tell you, really good base running by Trent Taylor to get himself to third base. You, you, in the beginning, you're wondering, is it going to be caught? And the battle of the sinker versus the... Great. Goes to second. That'll get a run in. We're all tied up. As Green goes to Martin to record the first out of this game, and Taylor scores. Player ball into the outfield. Yeah. Instead, he goes down on three pitches. And working quickly to Pablo Ruiz. Ruiz down the left side. We're out by third base from Romano when he throws him out. Rounded out, very far reaches of the shift. Night, very impressive. Montez takes his pitch to left field and drops a base hit in front of Wyatt Crowell. So another leadoff man for the Knights on base. He said it right, but he popped it straight up. Nelson going back. Does he have a play? He does. Hair, and he threw a good pitch. Freeland sends this one to left field. Ball is really carrying out there tonight. All the way to the wall for Crowell before he makes a catch. That looked like a can of corn. Sure did. Yep. There. High and too high just. Two on for UCF. And he does. Romano chases. Scolaro comes in and gets the Knowles out of a jam. Crow sends this one to left field for a base hit. Right. Sadis now sends this one to shortstop. Sadis can run. 
Freeland is just too darn good in the hole, making the play. And we go to extras here. In Up the middle, gonna be a tough play. Green make it. No, just not in time. Great got down the line quickly, and he's on base. Gives this one a ride to right field. That's gonna be a base hit. Martin comes up throwing. Holds Braid at second, but up the middle. Defense had him played perfectly. One. Throw gets away from the first baseman. Martin, will the run score? It does. UCF takes the lead as Martin couldn't handle the throw. Coming in from shortstop to Sadis. Late in a game like this, the defense just has to be clean. And to your point, CC, I mean, this is tailor-made. This is not a difficult play for someone as talented. Montez high to right field. Green going back to squeeze it. And it hit him. Well, that's one way to get it started. It's Cabell. And that looks like it hurt a lot more than Romano's hit by pitch. Martin lays off the high fastball. Now they're loaded with nobody out. Popped up. Romano can't see it. He lost it initially, and it drops. We're going to play at the plate, and that's going to be a force out at home. It looked like the umpire initially called him safe. Now we'll have to get a ruling here. All right, so let's see the play. Bases are loaded. So Romano loses the ball, and it drops. But Hank Himmenen was calling infield fly. Over. Tapper to third base. It's going to come home. They'll get the force at home, and they won't be able to turn two. So a positive outcome for UCF as the bases are still loaded, but now there are two outs. Hunsinger the pitch. Out of the zone, and the Knowles win. Tyler Martin scores the game winner. And even though the middle of this lineup wasn't able to hurt UCF with big bombs tonight, I'll tell you, Runes, they worked some good pitches here in the extras, and it was enough to get to the Seminoles the win.